I recently tried a new method to make my symbols quieter that I learned from Sadie on Rocks Online. So I covered my symbols with a little bit of masking tape uh, from her suggestion. So if you're going to do any symboling, remember to put in your ear protection, whatever ear protection you have. And I'm going to show you on another set of symbols how I did the masking tape and the difference that it makes. So here we're going to do, I'm going to take one middle finger and thumb and put masking tape on it and then not put it on the other one so you can see the difference. So here we go. And I have masking tape and this is a pretty thick roll so you can tell that's going to be really thick on these. Um, you might be able to do this thick without tearing it in half on these because they're a little bigger than these ones. But these ones I had to tear the masking tape in half so I'll do that on these ones as well. Let's find the end of the masking tape. And one of the things Sadie says is an advantage to using masking tape is it comes off really easy. So if you then want to perform with them later. I haven't taken masking tape off of these yet, so I don't know how much residue it leaves. But my guess is, based on what Sadie said, if you take it off, it should come off pretty easy. And then you can just quickly clean it up and you should still be able to play them. But I don't have any super expensive symbols, so uh, if you only have expensive ones, you may want to try, that was a really bad pull of tape, uh, you may want to try this on cheaper symbols first and not your super expensive nice ones. But I would trust Sadie. If she says it doesn't leave much residue, then it probably doesn't. Alright, so see this is really thick. So then what I do is I tear it approximately in half, and then I got a symbol, and I'm going to put it just across. And this is a little bit too much extra, so I'm just going to... Obviously, this is <laughs> a little messy. Uh, Sadie said you can like cut it here, or you can even use like a little razor blade around so that you can hide the masking tape if you want to use these for like filming videos and stuff and you want it to look super professional. But for me, for my purposes, I don't really care if it looks all taped up. I'm just trying to get some good symbol practice in, and I'm likely not going to perform with them taped, so... that in the middle there. There we go. And I noticed it doesn't make a huge difference if only one symbol is taped. So I have to tape both. So I've got a middle finger one here. Here I can tell this one is the thumb because it has a different kind of safety pin. So I'll do that on the thumb as well. And it's really frustrating when you take too little masking tape off and you have to do a whole new one. So I try to go for longer than shorter. Ah, here we go. Oh. Easier said than done. Doesn't look amazing, but that's not what it's for, so I'm gonna place this one right on the tip and then oh, this one I got a nice little edge on that one. So now I will put on the 
big symbols so you can hear the difference. And you can tell I don't wear these symbols as much because they're still much tighter than my normal symbols. Because these ones are louder than the ones I'd usually use. Until my dog is like, oh no. Oh no, Anna, am I about to play the loud things? You wanna run? Okay, you wanna run away? All right, so non-taped, ring, taped, Black. tick, So see, it's a pretty significant difference. So this might be a really good hack for you if you personally don't like how loud your symbols are, or if you have roommates, family, neighbors, animals, etc. Like earlier, I was practicing with my tape symbols, and Anna was just laying right there having chill time, and she was great. But as soon as I pulled this one out, she was like, bye, I'm going away. So there you go. It's an idea I got from Sadie. and might be worth a try.